Ask the Messengers TV show is a TV show that educates, informs, and entertains our viewers on public health issues such as mental illness, suicide, addiction, illness and disease, COVID-19 relief, crime, domestic violence, homelessness, human trafficking, employment opportunities, health care, and more. And now, Ask the Messengers. So today on Ask the Messengers, we um, decided to do something a little unique and a little different. Um, you know, we always talk about January, the new year. I promise to do this. I promise to do that. And the Ask the Messengers team actually did that. We talked about what we wanted to do, what we wanted to accomplish. So right now, we're just going to take a look at Jacinta, Derek, and myself, uh, what we decided to do. So let's take a look at Y'all ready? Y'all sure? <laughs> I don't know what I promised, but let's see. I hope I'm on, I hope I'm on cue. So let's uh rewind and look at January of 2023. The only thing that I really want to do, I want to learn how to just be a little more financially stable. And that means putting away that $1 putting away that five dollar you know to be financially stable as you learn as you get older you don't necessarily have to put a whole lot of money in the bank it's baby steps so hopefully i can do some baby steps and save some money this year my new year resolution um is to get rid of this gut that i have so i got to get back in the gym uh, of course and uh, to add another source of income. Um, my new year resolution for 2023 is to take more risk. A lot of things that I want to do and accomplish in my life need a lot more confidence and boldness. So that's something I plan to do in 2023. We just saw that. Now, who wants to go first? <laughs> Derek? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see that gut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went on a cruise. I don't think that would help you with that resolution, man. Oh man, I had about five, six meals a day, <laughs> entrees, <laughs> no appetizers, just entrees. I wasn't snacking at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, and about the gym. I haven't been going to the gym not one time <laughs> this year. Not you one didn't even time. go to the parking lot and contemplate. I ain't do none of that. Pack um, a gym I bag, something. Gym, <laughs> gym bag's in the okay. trunk. I, yeah, I'm about to say I got the gym bag. It's oh, just, well, okay. I just never got a chance to. I mean, I have no excuse, honestly. I just, I just had, I couldn't find the motivation. Um, I finally found it. So, um, I've set a plan. I actually wrote it down this time. So before. I learned, you know, I'm still learning about myself. Uh, and I wrote down, uh, you know, my plan, my diet, uh, you know, the routine, everything. So I'm a lot more motivated than I was, you know, during that video. Uh, it was just more so just talking, I guess, because I still, still got the gut. I still got the gut. And then the other one was uh, find another source of income. So I, uh, I found another source of income. It's just not consistent right now. So that one, I'm, you know, I, I didn't give up on that one. That one was good, but no, nah, the gut's still here though. I, but you I know something you just said. Something you just said really is good because, you know, you made these resolutions to go to the gym. Okay, the bag is mm -hmm. in the trunk, which means you still got time. Now, when you said find another source of income, and it wasn't specific or it's not consistent, you did find it. Now, mm -hmm. when you make a resolution. Or say you're gonna do something. Maybe we need to be more specific on what we say because you did do that and you yeah. did accomplish that. So kudos to you. So that's one out of the three things. So you can be proud of your accomplishment because here we are, six months, seven months, and you know I always say Christmas in July. So why not revisit the beginning of the year? So you should be proud of yourself, even though it may not be consistent. But guess what? You asked and you did receive that. That's true. I, I gotta gotta be more specific. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned I learned a few things. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, Jacinta. I'm gonna say you go you you go next. Well, it looks like you're being quite adventurous and stepping out and being more bold. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of two of my resolutions in one because I wanted to spend more time with my family, yeah. and we are currently camping right now up north or 
west or something. And um, I had planned to be back, but we're kind of stuck here for now. So um, getting extra family time with my family. So wow. that's kind of nice. <laughs> that's awesome. And, uh, as far as my other resolution, I said I wanted to, you know, be bold and take more risk. And I realized that it's kind of hard for me to do that because a lot of risks that you take involve money and I do not like to lose money. So <laughs> I, I tried to take a risk. I, I lost a little bit of money this year. So I'm just kind of rethinking <laughs> my resolution. Right. But, well, um, once again, be proud of yourself. You said that you wanted to spend more family time. You wanted to take more risks. You took those mm -hmm. risks. So again, you did ask, you said, and you accomplished it. Now the outcome might be, you know, not what we anticipated, right. but at least you did it, right? You did it. So kudos to you too, for staying on track. And there's still a few more months left. Seems like when January, when January hits, it's like, Ooh, we got a whole year. Look at we're in July already, y'all. I crazy. can say, though, you know, a lot of people, they completely forget about their resolutions. They don't go back and revisit. So it's kind of good that we're we're doing that, just reminding yeah. ourselves and even still trying. We haven't given up, you know? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, because a lot of people will be like, man, I quit. I ain't even going to try no more. You know what I mean? Vision boards I've done this year. Yeah. I've done several vision boards. And because the mode and the mood, it's like, you know how people do the vision board at the beginning of the year. This is what I want to do. This is what I get the little clippings. But me, okay, here we go, Tina. So I have not accomplished my baby steps, although I do got about 60 bucks in my drawer. So maybe that's a, that's a start. You know, I think about that. $60. So that means I've saved $10 a month. <gasps> <laughs> Good job, Tina. Baby steps. <laughs> So I got to put $10 in there for this month and I'll have something. Oh my God. I look at it from that perspective. That's not bad. So I guess I accomplished yeah. mine too. I guess the next time I got to say, I want to have a million dollars in the year, but you know, that, that might be overexerted. <laughs> Shoot. I, um, I'll pray for that one. Yeah, let's that. all pray. Cause you know, when I get on, yeah. we all on. But let's talk right. about resolutions. You know, resolutions are, um, Jacinta, you made a good point. Um, it's good to make them, set goals. At least you have a vision of what you want to do with life. And then, like we're doing today, we are encourage everyone else to do the same. Just look back at January, which is, believe it or not, not too far away from where we are, right? And just see if you meet those marks and hit those targets. And then think about this, Derek, the gym. Maybe you don't need to go to the gym. I mean, you work, you you out and about, you walk, you hike. You don't necessarily go into a physical gym, but you still do labor intense gym type things. You walk all the time, you hike. Mm -hmm. We've seen some of your trips, you're in mountains and things like that. So you are still doing somewhat of, the gym but you guys want to get in the gym and lift weights yeah, and all nah, that I gotta, right? <laughs> yeah, nah, I gotta get cut I gotta get cut like I used to be so I'm telling you give me give me about four months shoot I say give me I say by the uh by January by the next time we do this uh this 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 episode watch you're gonna see a different person you're gonna see so a we gotta re so we gotta do this back do we do hold on y'all so do we revisit mm -hmm before the holidays before we start eating so should we do it in october or do we wait until december i say december <laughs> we all gonna fail you know how much food you you know how much food you you know the, it's real life september, after okay yeah. after september y'all think about this october november december there's nothing but food all three yeah. months well, well at least that's not one of my resolutions, so <laughs> I'm going to enjoy all my food. <laughs> Me too. I never make that resolution. Derek, good luck. I'm by myself. I'm, <laughs> wow, it's <that's> crazy. <laughs> well, you know. You're not by yourself because I will remind you. Yes, okay, we'll, we'll keep that. you on it. So, guys, we have reevaluated. Oh. We have seen what we said. Now, let's finish. Let's rewind to January. 
of 2023 and see what the rest of our team said they were going to do. And when they see this show, woo, we might have to we may have to do this show again with everybody, right? <laughs> All right. So, so, let's take a quick break and when we come back, we're going to rewind. We're going to go back to January 2023 and let's see if the rest of the team is on target. And, and I'm going to go for a quick jog. Oh, I'm gonna put ten more dollars in my envelope. Just so to, what what risk are you? Oh no, you're spending time with your family. I'm gonna go back out there and spend more time with my family. Uh oh. <laughs> all right, y'all. This is Tina Nelson for Ask the Messengers, and guess what? From all of us to you, as we said in January, Happy New Year. Welcome to New Year's resolution, the the revised edition. <laughs> Good luck, y'all. We'll be right back, and on the flip side, we'll see what everybody else had to say. We're going to rewind. All right. Hey, it's your girl, LaShawn, from Street Walker to Street Reporter. Grateful to still be in the process of recovery, celebrating 28 years. Yay! Anyway, I am truly grateful. This has been a trying year for me. I'm grateful to still have my husband here with me after he battled cancer oral cancer and going through the chemo and the radiation was a whole new experience for me but through it all through all the prayers and my faith and my belief in this higher power that I serve we got through it I'm also grateful to still just like I say be in the recovery process to be able to Still hold down this job with Ask the Messengers TV show. I am so grateful for my boss, George, for believing in me to do and asking me to be the street reporter for Ask the Messengers TV show. And it's like going into the streets looking for me is a blessing to let somebody know that it's a way out. But it's for those who want it, not for those who need it. You got to want this in order for it to work. My New Year's resolution is not to carry no dead weight this year. I didn't carry enough through last year. I'm getting rid of all dead weight. I don't need no dead weight. I need motivational people around me to help me increase, not decrease. So that's one New Year's resolution. The other one is to set goals because I know from my own experience that if you don't set no goals, any street will take you there. So I have goals and my goal is to conquer those goals and then set more goals. So first I'm going to set three. I'm going to take care knock them three down. Then I'm going to set three more a day at a time. And last but not least, my main goal is to continue helping people. Be blessed. Thank you for continuing to support X Messengers TV show. Look forward to seeing you in the street. Hi, everyone. This is Ashley. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Um, this year, I'm most thankful for my family. And this coming year, I hope to um, gain success and move forward in my career. Happy new year. My name is Charles a.k.a. Coupe de Ville, and I am here to tell what I'm thankful for is for making it to my older age and just having a healthy life. And a resolution is to just keep moving, keep God in my heart, and try to pass it on to everyone else. Greetings, everyone. My name is Kimberly Mallory. I'm the project manager and the host for the amazing author series here on Ask the Messengers. First and foremost, I want to thank the founder of the show, George Page. Thank you for always being so kind, so amazing, and so humble. I appreciate you. I'm so very thankful today that my father has made it to see 82 years young and he is still with us. But I'm truly grateful for all of the people, the women and men that God has brought into my life to help me on my journey. And my resolution, well, what I want to say, actually, my prayer is that I want to say, God, please 
allow me to see myself the way that you see me. Hi, my name is Derek Hill with the Ask the Messenger TV show. And I want to talk a few minutes about things that I'm grateful for and some of the things that have happened over this past year with the Ask the Messenger TV show. So, uh, whereas you might know, we're uh, celebrating our six year anniversary. So far, we've been on the air for six years, and we're grateful and we're thankful for that. And uh, we thank all our view viewing audiences and all of our sponsors. And uh, we're going to talk a few minutes about what the plans are for the coming year. And uh, what my plans personally is, some of the things I'm going to be making a resolution with, is working physically on myself, getting myself better in shape. That's one of my New Year resolutions. Also, uh, we're working to bring the Ask a Messenger TV show to you on a national level. So we're hoping that we will be able to have the opportunity to take the show to uh, every major city, eventually every major city here in the United States. So we thank all of our, uh, our guests who's been on the show, thank all of our sponsors who's been there to support us, everybody that we're, have, we've been able to partner with, we thank you so very kindly for everything. We'll be right back with more of Ask the Messenger. guys uh before we end this segment of revising and relooking at our resolutions let's just go around the table and give some words of encouragement to those who may be wondering or beating themselves up because they didn't do this that and the third Jacinta what could you say to what would you like to say to uh words of encouragement for everybody right now um I want to say the first thing is the first step is just making a plan setting a goal like you got to do that first. So if you've done that, if you have a will to change, if you, your mind is set to change, that's the, that's the first step. So just give yourself a little grace and say, Hey, this is a goal that I'm setting. It may seem a far way away, but I'm setting it and I'm going to make a choice every day, make a decision every day that moves me in that direction. So that's what I would say. Don't be too hard on yourself. Give yourself a little grace. Nice. Derek. I would say, uh, motivate yourself uh, in regards to take, you know, as she said, kind of feeding off of what Jacinta said, you know, making little small goals. Uh, like one thing that I kind of focus on is, and maybe, you know, you guys would as well, is uh, strive to be 1% better than you were yesterday. Mm -hmm. So you can make like little small goals like, okay, um, you know, one of the goals is to save more money. So say you haven't saved a dime, for example, uh, you know, some of our viewers out there, you haven't saved anything. So go with, I'll save a dollar a week. And then, you know, maybe each month increase it to two and three, you know, just little small things here and there. Um, if you want to exercise more, be more, uh, you know, mobile, um, instead of just shooting straight to the gym, you know, take maybe 15, 30 minutes out your day and just go for a walk you know, just implementing little things here and there to get yourself back into the routine. So that's what I would suggest, you know, just strive to be 1%, you know, greater than you were yesterday. Right. And then I'll echo everything that you all said and the baby steps and evaluate your goals every month, you know, write them down, you know, shoot the wide, write the whole thing down, plans, intentions, and everything, write it all down. And then as you go from one month to the next month, some of those goals carry them over to the next month. We have a few more months left mm -hmm. in the year and you still have time. So if you did write them down in January, pick that, pick that, first of all, dust the notebook off. <laughs> and if you crumple the paper up because you got mad and said, screw this, I quit, uncrumple it. If you wrote it in a Google Doc, open that file. You go on Google, do your phone all the time, wherever you wrote it down, mm -hmm. take a look at it. Then pat yourself on the back. Even as we all looked at what we said, we showed ourselves that we did accomplish those things, maybe not in the brain scan that we thought. And then every month, the rest of this year, just write them down, look at it. And some of those goals you made only didn't make no sense anyway, because most people 
New Year's Eve. Y'all know where your brain was New Year's Eve. A lot of y'all was in the fog when y'all made those things. I wasn't, but a lot of the viewers were in the fog. Y'all know what y'all was doing New Year's Eve and you was feeling real good and you going to change the world within yourself. And then you got sober the next day. Like, oh man, I wrote that down. So go back and look at it. Go back and look at, oh, somebody guilty over here. Um, Go back, <laughs> go back and write, look at it. And look at it with a clear conscience. Look at the things that you've accomplished. Pat yourself on the back. And like I said, reevaluate it every month. Move the things that make sense and leave the rest where it is on that paper. Get back to it later. You don't have to, the, the world wasn't built in a day. How they say Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was the world. So uh, I would just say, continue to take those baby steps. And I'm glad that we did this show. I'm glad we're doing this. Um, and thank you guys. Uh, everybody's in their own little spaces. This is so cool. We're like all where we need to be. We're moving around. But guess what? Thanks to Zoom, we can still connect, right? Yeah. Well, that concludes this week's episode of Ask the Messengers. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to help support our show, please feel free to make a donation of any kind by visiting our show website, www.askthemessengers.org. If you prefer to mail donations, please make check or money order payable to Ask the Messengers TV show and send it to 18400 Schaefer Highway, Detroit, Michigan, 48235. Ask the Messengers is the program that deals with things that help you. Thank you for watching.